Good morning. Welcome to the special edition of Fit News. I'm Jen from Fit with Shaver, and I help women learn to make exercise work with their fluctuating hormones and not against by doing the right exercises at the right time and the right intensity. If you joined us just a few days ago on Tuesday, we welcomed in March, which is Women's History Month, and we took a little trip down memory lane to discuss the history of women and exercise, which included some sweating to the oldies, Richard Simmons, and a little Tybo and Billy Banks. Many of you know that I spend a lot of time talking about strength training to build lean muscle and bone density. I wanted to hop back on because I want to talk some more about this because today I want to discuss some other reasons, no matter your age, younger or older, that you should consider adding strength training to your routine. I was doing some reading recently and I found in a recent study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Association that they took a group of women, of untrained 60-year-old women. Now I know what you're thinking. Jen, I'm not 60. I'm not near 60. Or maybe you are, but you're trained. Just listen, because these results matter, okay? And what happened with this matters, okay? Because it will apply, so listen carefully, no matter your age or your level, it will still apply to you, okay? So what they found in this study, they took a group of 60-year-old women, they were untrained, they had not been doing any training, and they found that these women who did strength training using three sets of the exercise for 10 to 15 reps, and they strength trained two to three days a week. Not only did this strength training build lean muscle and bone density, but it helped to not only reduce that belly fat, it also, because it, you know, in doing that, they found that they had improved their blood biomarkers. They had also found that their overall improvement in other risk factors in other chronic diseases improved, okay? They found that there was a reduction in their LDL levels, reduced their overall body fat, including that trunk fat. So yes, menopause ladies, you're all, how do I get rid of my meno belly? Strength train, okay? So lowered their LDL, lowered their belly fat, lowered their risk of diabetes, lowered their risk of hypertension, lowered their risk of neurodegenerative diseases, lowered their risk of different types of cancer, and a lower risk of cardiometabolic diseases. Okay, that's a lot on that list that went down because they started to strength train. What does this mean for you? It means that if a group of 60-year-old women who were untrained can lift two to three days a week and get these benefits, so can you, okay? So you can see that the benefits of lifting start at any age and any experience level. And these benefits are far greater than just monster biceps. The reasons we should be lifting go far beyond aesthetics, okay? The benefits of aging healthy are far more rewarding than just some monster biceps, okay? I guarantee that you have been saving and you're, you have a retirement account. So your bank account is getting ready for retirement. But how is your body getting ready for retirement? Are you preparing your body? Because that starts now, that you have to start now. You can't wait until then to 
to start. You have to start preparing now. And how do you do that? How do you age successfully? You need to add strength training to your routine. And that's why I am hoping that if you're not strength training, or even if you are, that you will join me starting Monday for Spring Into Shape, eight weeks of strength training. We can strength train together on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Any level, whether you're new to this or whether you've been strength training for a while and you just want something fun or something new to do, join me. I'll put the link in the comments so you can sign up and join me, get stronger, prepare that body for aging healthy. Make it a great day. I'll see you next week.